From GalacticHunter.com and 16bit.com, it's time for another video review. I'm Adam Paulus with Clone Commander Fox. It's the only new Clone Wars figure in Wave 4. It's the 18th figure of the year, and it looks a lot like this. It comes on a card, it has a stand, it has a gun, it has another gun, and a rocket-firing missile. There's a bio on the back, it tells the story of the Clone Wars movie. Pause it if you want to read it. The carded figure is great, but what's inside counts. And what's inside is basically the new Captain Rex body with Cody's helmet, in new colors that look appropriate for a Target exclusive. The figure has uh, a lot of red deco. It's molded in red and white. And if you look at it, there's a lot of detail. Not a lot of damage and dirt like Captain Rex, but there's still a lot going on, including a Republic Senate symbol on the shoulder armor. The articulation, not so hot. You got neck, shoulders, elbows, waist, and hips. And basically it's more or less okay. It stands good, it looks good, but you can't really have him sit down in a vehicle. The skirt gets in the way, and as you can see, they don't bend too well. He doesn't sit, is what I'm getting at. But he has some great detail on the armor. I like that. There's an early nice helmet, but you might notice one detail is kind of missing. The packaging shows there's sort of a white chin, and the white chin wasn't on there. But he does have working holsters, just like Captain Rex, on each side of his outfit. He has a rocket launcher that really fires. It's the same mold as 2008, and of course the Galactic Battle Game card. The figure looks good. If you're collecting them all, I think you're going to want it. If you like things that are bright red, obviously, Buy it when you see it. And don't forget, you can also find it online at Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth has it for sale. You can also read more reviews like this at GalacticHunter.com. And if you enjoy this video review, please tell a friend or subscribe.